Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, actually, I've never done an official video unboxing my Hero 4 Black. And um, right now, I'm shooting this at 1080p at 120 frames a second. So, if you're watching this right now, you will be in slow motion. I don't know why I slowed down myself, but it just made the sound even lower. Anyway, let's do some tests. All right, so this is at 1080p, 24 frames uh, on the GoPro Hero 4. I don't know what I'm doing. I actually have a lot to do today, so I'll probably be doing those tests later. Yeah. All right, buddy. Now forget, I'm just gonna do these different tests in here. This is 1080p at 30 frames. You can see it's a little bit uh, smoother than 24, even though I'm traditionalist, so I like uh, 24 frames, because that's real film. You know, the look, cinematic. That's what I'm going for. Hence the name of my company, Cinemaking Productions. Stop. Now this is very interesting because this is 1080p at 48 frames a second, just like the way the Hobbit films were produced. Uh, I don't think the resolution of their cameras were 1080, but the frame rate at 48, so Interesting facts. And this is at 60 frames a second at 1080p. So this is actually 40%. No, what is it? If you shoot at 60, but then you slow it down to 24 frames a second, you do it by 40%. So what do you do? Multiple. I don't know, but this is also used if you're doubling, if you're normally shooting at 30 frames and you shoot at 60, this is double of that. So you get some slow motion as well. Yeah. Now this is an interesting frame rate. This is 1080p at 90 frames a second. Uh, I didn't understand why, but then it just clicked that this is three times as fast if you shoot at 30 frames a second, you know. Uh, you get a third of the slow motion if you were to slow motion or do playback at 30 frames a second Slowing it down So good thinking GoPro good thinking And of course we're back at 1080p at 120 frames a second on the hero for black edition by GoPro uh, this is four times as fast, four times as fast as 30 frames a second. Uh, but if you do playback at 24, then you have even a little bit slower slow motion, which, uh, of course, if you're doing the cinematic approach, which is yours truly. So I actually have a theory about slow motion video and playing back normal audio to see if it would sync up, but I'll probably do that later as a test. Who knows? We'll see. And so we're back now at 1080p, 24 frames, my normal standard. However, actually no, no, I take that back. Because this is a 4K camera, I'm gonna shoot this standard at 4K, unless I need to do high slow motion which I will, inshallah, at 1080p at uh, 120 frames. But other than that, 4K at 24 frames, my friend. 4K at 24 frames. Bye. 
This is 4K at 24 frames a second, shrunk down to 1080p to fit within this frame. And so you can tell that the picture quality is much crisper and cleaner. Just that FYI. A lot of films actually do this in the movie industry, right? They actually already have cameras that shoot 8K. And actually the next GoPro that's coming out is supposedly rumored to have 8K functionality. And what they do is they film at that high, high, high resolution. They do all their editing and color grading and then they scale it down to fit onto 1080p. Or actually they're now re-releasing, I think, or starting to in 4K because they can, because they've already future-proofed their films, right, to shoot very high-end. And so then the quality, imagine that taking, okay, for example, this video, 4K, Here, here's 1080p, right? This is 1080p. Now imagine about four times of that. This image shrunk to fit here. Then you have a very clean and very crisp image. So then imagine 8K brought down. You will see the pimples, the pores on my face. Too much detail. I think that's too much detail. The human eye, you can see actually quite, it's a lot. The human eye is just an amazing thing that we try to recreate with cameras, but it will never, ever, in the history of ever, ever, come close. You can try, but just know your place. Anywho, I'm out. This has been an awesome test of the Hero 4 Black Edition from GoPro, and I will see you guys next time.